Hey, this is Peter at Free Worship with a tutorial on the database manager. So this is a really important feature. So we go to Tools and click Manage Database to open up the manager window. So what we've got here is our songs. You can see we've got all the information about them. So we can remove a song, we can create, we can edit. So if you just click up there, the edit item, what will happen is the song editor that you're familiar with, when you create a song, will open. And you can just make all the changes that you usually would to edit this item. So as you can see along the top there, we've got the item, the authors, the copyright, and all the other information that is displayed on that advanced info tab within that uh, editor. So what we can also do is we can click on the Bibles or the slide sets using those icons at the top and manage those other items in our database. So if we click Open Explorer, this shows us the location that the database is actually stored on our machine. So this means that we could edit the actual songs within the folder by deleting or dropping, copying and pasting. We can open up the actual raw file there. I would recommend only doing that if you're an advanced user. Um, also, you can just select a different folder to be your database. So we could just make one here, new folder, um, call it a different database name, um, then select that folder. And then that will be our new database location. What we would then need to do is move all of our stuff into there so that pre worship could see it. And we can just revert to the default by clicking the default button there. So if everything else goes wrong, just click default and you're back to normal. Then we can just close that window as you would expect. Um, and once we've made any changes, we just need to press that reload database button or just start up pre worship fresh again. So that's the database manager. Uh, please check out our other tutorials at freeworship.org.uk.